Right, so hello and uh, welcome to another video. And uh, as you can see, we're all pitched up. So the walk you're going to see today is uh, a 17 mile route. Uh, we started off in uh, a little village called Eastfield, which uh, incidentally is uh, where my wife was brought up. We then headed through a nature reserve and uh, along to the Forge Valley. We went through the valley and along the River Derwent and uh, looked back round to the coast. Um, the weather was great today, really enjoyable, perfect hiking weather. And uh, yeah, it's been a, a very enjoyable hike. It's uh, definitely a place I'd visit again. So I hope you enjoy the video and I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Castle. Uh, it's a ruin and it's uh, in a place called Great Ayton and it's called Ayton Castle. Uh, Great Ayton is not too far from uh, Scarborough. So we have uh, just walked through the Forge Valley and uh, this here, this is the River Derwent. So now we're heading up across the road and uh, into another wood before turning back towards the coast.
just left Robrow Wood. Um, we're right at the top of the valley. And uh, we're descending back down now and heading towards the coast. So I think we've probably got about another eight kilometers to go. So I think a couple of hours and we start to pitch up. So we just hit the Cleveland Way and uh, we're about 2k from the spot. Uh, it's been a good walk, walking for six and a half hours and we've done 16 miles so it'll be 17 miles in total I reckon. Yeah very enjoyable and uh, looking forward to uh, getting pitched up and uh, relaxing and having a cider. Right, so I'll show you around our campsite. As you can see, we're uh, on the east coast, a little place called Caton Bay. Got Rich with me as usual. So, Rich is in his uh, Z Pax Alterplex in uh, a nice camo colour. Good size tent, that. I am in my uh, Solomid XL, which is uh, definitely uh, my favourite tent. Nice uh, size, the new one. So I've gone uh, synthetic again with my quilt. And I've got a synthetic top, and uh, the only bit of down I've got with me is my body warmer, which the PhD at 80 grams is what I uh, always bring with me because it's so light. So the mat I've got with me is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. I've actually got uh, an Uber Light coming in the post, so I'll be looking forward to trying that out. It's about 100 grams lighter. Um, insulations is not as good, but uh, for summer I think it'll be perfect. So yeah, I think this is one of our favourite spots on the coast. It's, uh, normally we pitch up there, but the grass is actually about waist height, so we drop down a little bit and found this little area, or should I say Rich found it. But yes, it's... Uh, Definitely a room with a view. So it's about quarter past seven now, I'm gonna start cooking. Yeah, we've really been uh, caning these trips in July. Um, now, the situation has, uh, well, shall we say eased off a little bit. We're uh, getting out as much as we can, playing catch up. Yes, yeah, so I think it's time for a, a bit of food and uh, a nice uh, sit down and chill out with me can of cider. Well, it doesn't look great, but it tastes delicious. A bit of uh, vegetable chilli and uh, egg fried rice. So. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's starving, it's nearly half past seven. Um, we had our dinner earlier, about half past ten, so. <laughs> I'm very hungry. five in the morning and uh, yes didn't get a lot of sleep didn't go to bed until about half eleven and then we was up about half past four so 
but it's worth it for sites like these. Get a bit of breakfast now and uh, get packed up and head back to the car, which isn't very far away at all. It should only take us about half an hour.